and welcome back to Bee Boss Kitchen. Today I want to make pie crust. Um, I'm going to do a video just on the pie crust and then I'm going to do a second video on making a pie which is called the peanut butter pie so you want to be sure and watch that video also. But the ingredients for the pie crust you want one egg Two sticks of cubed butter, and you want to keep this cold. Three-fourths cup of milk that is cold. Two tablespoons of granulated sugar. One teaspoon of salt. Three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. If you can find unfortified flour, that would be better to use, but I was not able to find unfortified but you do need to make sure that it is unbleached all-purpose flour. And the first thing that we're going to do is put the salt and the sugar in with the flour. And I'm going to give that a mix. You want to blend this all together really well. I'm going to put this in my food processor. Let me say though that uh, when I took the time to cube my butter after I cubed it, I did put it back in the refrigerator because you do want to keep this cold as well as the milk. When I poured it up, I also put it back in the refrigerator to keep it really cold. So now we're going to get started. This is processed in the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can do it by hand, but it'll be much simpler if you have a food processor. And now we're going to pulse it until it's just pea sized. Now we want to mix the egg and the milk together. I'm going to blend this egg and I'm going to pour my egg in with the milk. I'm going to pulse this as, my, as I pour my milk and egg in. Mix it all until it forms a dryish dough. You see how that looks? Okay, I have it out of the food processor, and so now we're going to split this dough in half, making two crusts out of it. And we're going to wrap it in a saran wrap and chill it for about an hour. You don't want to work the dough too much. Okay, these go in the refrigerator for about one hour and then I'll take one of them out and roll it out. The dough has been in the refrigerator now for a little bit over an hour and so I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to sprinkle some flour over the dough and I'm also going to flour my rolling pin. You want to roll this a little larger than your pie plate. And so I have got it rolled out and now I'm gonna roll it up on my rolling pin. You want to have greased and floured your pie plate before you roll your crust out onto your plate. So after you've rolled it out and rolled it up onto your rolling pin, then you're just going to lay that across your pie plate and roll it out. And then you want to press it into the crevices of your pie plate. And now I'm going to cut the edge off. Just like that. Now you don't want to cut holes in the bottom of your pie shell because the liquid of whatever type pie you may be making will seep through that and so you don't want that to happen. Uh, I always thought in, in all my years of cooking that you were to poke holes in it to allow it to keep it from rising up. 
but you don't want to do that. Now, if you want to make the edges more decorative than just a plain pie shell, you can go along and you can just pinch your edge of your pie shell like so. You can take a fork and just press making the creases in the edge of your pie shell. Okay, now that I have finished with the pie crust, I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes and then I'll bring it back out, do an egg wash on it, and then I'm going to bake it and get it ready for my peanut butter pie. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, the pie crust has been in the refrigerator now for about 20 minutes and so um, I'm going to do an egg wash on it and then I'm going to bake it because the pie that I'm making requires the shell, the pie crust to be baked prior to doing the pie. Um, just be sure that you have mashed your pie crust down in the crevices of your pie plate so that it doesn't sink or collapse. And so now I'm going to do the egg wash on it. I'm just going to, this will help to seal the pie crust. These yard eggs that Daryl and Reagan gave me are so yellow. They look like they look like I have yellow food coloring in my in everything that I use them in. They're so beautiful, man. They're they're really colorful. Okay, this is how it looks now that it's washed with egg, and I'm gonna pop this in the oven and bake it, and I'll bring it out as soon as it gets done and let you see how the end result is. Okay, my pie crust is out of the oven. It looks like it's coated in mustard. I declare those are the most yellow eggs I've ever seen. But anyway, um, it has shrank quite a bit. I think maybe I should have let it hang over the edges a little bit. But nonetheless, this is a delicious pie crust. It'll be very, very flaky. Um, but I let it bake for 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven. I started out at 400 and then I turned it down. I have a convection oven that I cooked it in. That being said, now I'm going to do uh, a peanut butter pie that I'm going to put in this pie shell. The shell has to be cool and I'm doing the pie in a separate video. So I hope that you will watch it also. Uh, I will list the recipe for the pie crust below in the description box. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would certainly love it if you would. And give me a thumbs up so that I'll know that you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment and I'll reply back to you. And if you know someone that you think might would enjoy this, share it with them. And don't forget to click on the bell so that you'll receive notification when I post another video. And until the next time, this is B-Boss saying have a great day. May the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And I will see you very soon, like in the next video. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see you. Bye.